the house that Ruth built, Yankee Stadium. Home of Murderer's Row, the 27 Yankees. Home of the dynasties of DiMaggio and Mantle. I'm Mark Mulhoy, managing editor of Sports Illustrated. Recently, senior writer Ron Fimright came across a different Murderer's Row, a dynasty that makes all the teams that won here in pinstripes seem like a collection of Punch and Judy hitters. They're the men of Steel Sports Company, a bunch of guys with thick guts, spindly legs, and powerful arms, guys the babe himself would have loved. Ton for ton, they're probably the greatest slow-pitch softball team that ever lived. Pressurization complete. Affirmative. The mighty men of steel. They laugh at fencers. They blast softballs like missiles. They transform the batter's box into a launching pad. Behind this fence in the quiet town of Grafton, Ohio, you'll find plenty of softballs. Not souvenirs pounded out by the team, but hundreds of boxes full, distributed by the fastest growing sports equipment company in the country. All research and development of bats, balls, and gloves is done by the players. Back in 1979, Dennis Helmig transformed an auto parts business into a million dollar empire. We just thought we could go out and try the corner of the Ohio market. Now we're trying to corner the entire United States. The growth uh, of the company, uh, you know, every day, it's a stack of orders right here that just came in yesterday. So, you know, it's, it's mind-boggling just how fast it is growing. What is truly mind-boggling is the lobby, which has room for less than half of the rewards earned by the men of Steel's. And even more so is Helmig's incredible team, the company's single, living, breathing, slugging advertisement. They cracked over 3,900 home runs this season and scored nearly 8,000 runs. The most awesome offensive machine that's ever been assembled. Myself, I'm 6'6", and I go about 300 pounds. Uh, we have three players over 300 pounds. Uh, our average height is 6'4". Our average weight's about 245 pounds. We played some games this year where more of our balls have landed on the other side of the fence than they have actually stayed in the park. And one time we played a game where the team put outfielders on the other side of the fence. They bat around in the blink of an eye. And this is what a score sheet looks like when you total 91 runs with 45 homers in one game. Play a drive, big man. I've been around softball for 31 years, and I am in awe of some of the home runs that have been hit in parks with winds blowing in. And they always try to take us to big parks to play, and it's the it's really a bad thing because we're going to get ours, and they're not going to get any. Come on, big man. There you go. Get up. Get up. That's it. Third base coach and vice president Randy Gorell knows just how tough it is to make the club. That's Monty's third home run of this ball game. Stay with that swing in the groove. There's 40 million people playing organized softball out there. And all we can take is the top 10 ball players in the country. So it's just as difficult to make our team as it is the Boston Celtics or the Yankees or any other of the great franchises. It's very difficult. We're only looking for the best 10 softball players in the country, period. The only thing meaner than the Men of Steel's is their schedule. 230 games over six months from Las Vegas to Opelika.
songstress Monty Tucker yearns to see his family, and yet another motel mattress strains to support his 310 pounds. Hi, honey. Yeah, I'm calling from a bar. We just got done with a doubleheader. We're in here eating. Yeah, I don't know where we're going tomorrow night. I think we got two more games tomorrow night. I'm not sure where we're staying. I'll call you when I get there. Give Jamie a big kiss for me. Bye-bye. Welcome to softball, ladies and gentlemen. We're Steel Sports two-time national ASA champions of the Super Division, playing Cleveland All-Stars here at Softball World, one of the finest complexes in Northern Ohio. Play ball! Come on, Charles. Come on, Charles. On September 24th, finally they played their last doubleheader. Come on, Monster, come on now! <coughs> They went out in style as the first six batters crushed home runs. Come on, Franker. Put it in orbit, kid. With three of their best hitters back home, Steele's had an off night, managing only 21 homers in the first game. After a 43 to 21 win, the tired Bulls couldn't believe only one hey, game remained. Thomas, this is the last game of the year. Let's make it the best game of the year. Let's sure? play hard. You sure? yeah. sure? I, I, I promise. I swear to God. Okay. It's all right. Okay, let's go. It's over, it's over. Oh, good. When it's over, it's over. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 22 more homers easily put the game away as expected. But for 33-year-old Charles Wright, it would be a special night, never forgotten. Properties up to shortstop, Charles Wright. Charles has 499 home runs. That's 499 in one season. And never before in the sport's 100-year history had anyone ever hit 500. that stood for a century won't last for long. For the men of Steels are expected to be even better next year. You're competing against perfection. Can we make the perfect bat? Can we make the perfect ball? Can we find the perfect ball player? So we'll never be settled in, or satisfied in any way, shape, or form. The more you win, the more you want to win. Winter will pass. And with spring, the countdown will begin all over.